Hi, so today I'm going to be teaching how to draw a horse in profile and I like to use shapes to figure out the proportions and the shape of a horse so I start out by making a cylinder for the head and then to make the neck I first measure the head and it's about this long and the neck will be two heads long so it'll start from here and then to here so it'll be stopping at about here so then I make another cylinder for the neck And then I'll make the body, which I like to use these egg-like shapes for the body. So I start out with a vertical egg for the first third. And then a horizontal egg for the second third. And then a shape that kind of looks like this for the last third. And then moving on to the legs, the front legs are kind of shaped like tubes and the top half will taper down and then be finished at the knee and a good rule of thumb is that from here to here will be the same distance as the top of the leg to the ground so about here so then the lower half of the leg is shorter than the top half and it's narrower at the top and wider at the bottom and then you make a rectangle for the fetlock and a trapezoid for the hoof and then you can move on to the front leg that's farther away and that leg will probably look shorter because it's further away than the leg that's closer. And then to do the hind legs, you start out by making a line, and then you make a shorter line, and then you make a J shape and this is about where the knee is on the hind leg and you'll notice that it's higher than the knees on the front legs and that's how the horse is built so then you can make another two like you did on the front legs and it'll be longer than the tubes on the front legs as well and then make the hoof again and then you can do the other hind leg which will come out like this and draw the hind leg like so and with the same J shape and with the two and with the hoof at the end. So that's the basic shape of a horse and now we're actually going to draw the horse itself. So starting with the head, the cheek starts at the top of the cylinder and then goes to about halfway 
of the cylinder. And then depending on what kind of horse it is, it'll be different, but it'll taper towards the nose. And then the nose is shaped like this. Kind of, maybe a little less round. Yeah, like that. And then the ear comes up here, and then the neck comes out, and it's pretty smooth. It's not curved when a horse is standing naturally. And then Continuing on the back, starts out pretty high and then sinks down and then comes up again. And then for the lower half, the chest sort of comes out and then you can draw the leg like so following the outlines of what you drew earlier with the tubes and then because there's a big muscle right here you can add a line here for detail and then you can erase the little lines here and on the neck and on the head and then to do the stomach of a horse, it kind of slopes up and then comes down and then slopes up again. And then you can do the other front leg following the lines again. And then erasing. Now to do the hind legs, there's a big muscle here, so you can have a line that starts here and then comes down. And follow the lines again. And then this line follows all the way up to here and meets the butt. And then the other hind leg will follow the same lines like so. And then you can erase the details on the legs. And then you can also erase the rest of the shapes that you use to make the horse's body. And then you can start adding in some details. For example, on the face of a horse, the eye comes about right here, and even though the horse's face slopes down, the eye looks straight ahead, so it won't be pointing downwards, it'll be pointing straight ahead. And then the nose comes about here, 
like a six and the mouth comes like this in a frown shape. You could also add other details like to the neck. There is a big muscle right here so you can add that and also the tail. You can also add in some shading if you want. So for example, there's some shadow right here and some shadow right here on the stomach. And then you can also add some shading here because it's sort of covered in the shadow. And for the legs, where those lines were before, you can use that as a estimate for where you should shadow on the legs. here and here and then you can also add some shadow here and that's your basic horse